everyone, I'm Jojo Kano and I'm a traveler and blogger and I write traveling and blogging tips on my website travelingpatikgirl.com So for today's video, I'm going to show you how I edit my photos for my blog and for Instagram and I'm going to show you how I do it on my desktop and I'll show you how I do it on my phone So stick to the end of this video for free presets that you can use for your photos Okay, let's get started Hey guys, so I just opened up my Lightroom and I use Adobe Lightroom Classic here on my laptop. So every picture here has already been cropped so you can see it's square or 4x5. And all these pictures were shot on my phone and on my camera. So I put everything in one folder so it's easy for me to see. So I'm just gonna go select a picture of, let's say, me swinging on this tree and shrug out. Here, I'll go to the develop module or you can press D for short. So as a shortcut, I like to use a preset and something like that and just put it on and then make adjustments for it after. But I'm going to show you the longer way. I'm going to go ahead and go down to calibration. If you don't know this yet, it's actually really amazing. I already have my usual numbers. <laughs> Um, so if you like the whole orange teal look, but maybe it's not so much like too orange and not too tealy But it has like a nice undertone of that. So that's a calibration You can see from before and after it changes that just a little bit and then I go up to exposure brighten that up Contrast I feel like I didn't contrast but I do like to bring the highlights down if I do have any clouds or anything in the sky It would show a lot more and it brings some detail back in and the trees alongside here and then I'll go down to shadows So this process because I go through everything one by one It does take a little bit longer and this is when I like to put on some music some creative work music Just to kind of get me into the group. Okay, so I'm gonna go whites Blacks. What I like to do is actually bring my vibrance up to 100, which looks really crazy. And I bring my saturation down. And then over here in the tone curve, there's this thing called the S curve, which a lot of people do. You basically click the middle, and this is to create a lot more contrast in your pictures. You bring this part up, which is the highlights, and then you bring this part down, and that's the shadows and dark area. So when I look at the white balance, like what I know is the right one is I like to look at the skin tones. If the skin tone looks too orange or blue, green or purple, that's where I like to make changes. So I usually like the skin on the warmer side, but I think that's how, this is how I, <laughs> I don't want to zoom in on my butt. <laughs> that's kind of like how I like the skin tones for myself. Okay, so I go down to color. So you might see like HSL or color. I like to have everything down here for me, so I choose color. And the colors I always like to make changes to is orange. So orange is the one that usually changes skin tone. So I think I might make that tint less. Yellow, this is where you can make the trees like really change. So you go ahead and change the, the hue, the Q into green. And then I like to bring down the yellow. Depending on what I'm going for, I think that's a nice shade. And I like to just go back and forth between how it looks. Luminance is what makes the, the color or the hue darker. I'm just gonna leave that alone. I kind of like that where it is. Just as a general rule, I like my blue to look a little bit more on the aqua or teal side, but then I also like to bring it down like a lot. I really like how everything's looking. I want to go ahead and put whatever preset this is into all the pictures that's here. So what I'm gonna do is go to, okay, orange, green, preset. So I'm going to go ahead and press create and then the preset's going to appear here in the preset tab on the left side. So then what I will do is actually press G or it just brings me back to library. G is just a shortcut. Press. I'm going to go select all. Right here on the right side under quick develop, go to the preset I'm looking for. So orange green preset and it just applies to preset on all the pictures and you're going to see like what the heck just happened. This is how presets work. They're not going to look the same on every photo just because all your pictures are going to be taken at different times of day, at different locations, different lighting. So for something that looks like this, it looks completely different for a picture that was taken at nighttime, which is completely black. So we're going to go ahead and go into each picture and then make adjustments for that. So I'm actually just going to bump this up to exposure, but everything looks great over there. I don't even want to change anything. So yeah, same thing with this picture. I'm going to be doing this with all pictures. So everything's just a process, you know, this looks weird, like, well, I don't know why your feet and skin looks so purple. Um, bring up the temperature. There you go. Our skin looks normal. I'm really liking how that's looking. Okay, cool. So I'm going to be adjusting the preset on all the pictures here, which doesn't take that much time because I already did all the creative thinking on one picture. I just have to make sure that everything looks consistent with that, which is pretty much just exposure, adjusting the white balance and any other colors if they're out of place. And now I'm going to show you how I edit pictures on my phone with the same app, but the mobile version, which is Adobe Lightroom Mobile. 
yeah. <laughs> Hello again. I'm gonna go ahead and use Lightroom to edit the pictures on my phone. I'm on Lightroom right now. I just opened it. I'm gonna go ahead and add the picture. So I've already uploaded the preset onto my phone and you can use Dropbox or Google Drive to do this. Okay, so the picture has been added on Lightroom. If you look in the different settings, you're gonna see everything has been changed. It's pretty much the same settings that we put on the computer. So next thing you'll do is press on presets go press these three dots on top press create preset rename it to orange green because those are the two colors i see and press save okay cool so that's already saved as a preset over here so i'm gonna do this for all the pictures um, apply the same preset orange and green so just like in the desktop version it's gonna look weird and like off so you're just gonna do the same thing and make adjustments because not every picture is the same. So I'm gonna increase the brightness here. Um, go to color, lower the temp. It's a little bit too orange for my liking. Maybe there, yeah. I like that. So that's how I edit pictures for my blog and my Instagram. It's super easy and you can tell like once you use a preset, everything is much more efficient when you start editing your pictures. So if you don't have access to using the desktop version of Lightroom, which you have to pay a subscription for, then you can use the free version, which is on your phone, Lightroom Mobile, and you can still achieve the same look. So if you've ever looked in my Instagram or my blog and you wanna achieve the same look for your pictures, well, I have the presets for you, they're free. There's the orange green one that I just showed you in this video. I have the orange and teal, the airy blue, and the warm and gold. So if you like them, go ahead and download them here in the link below. You just have to sign up with your email and your first name. That's it. And you get the desktop and the mobile version. So thank you so much for watching and thank you for being here. I know I've been absent on YouTube for a while. I've been working on this really huge project, which I can't wait to share with you. But for the meantime, um, let me know what you think. And if you have any questions, go ahead and comment them below. And I always reply to you guys. So I'll see you in the next video. Uh, talk to you soon. I love you. Be safe. Bye. Mwah, mwah, mwah.